Riders ready? Of course I bloody am. Sticks up like a sore asshole, doesn't it? So how are we all bloody doing today? Um, been in the wars again. So yesterday morning, me and the MVP got up at what, half past five in the morning? Went out to Triscombe, met my good friend Sam Thompson to take some uh, photos. BMX Dan Liden in Triscombe. Uh, the whole plan of the video was get my pictures, then try and get 20 miles around the corn tox on a BMX. We managed 14 in the end before I died. So yeah, this is going to be the footage first. Then we're doing a mad uh, walk to get rid of my sort of uh, aching bones from my head over to Bosnian. So uh, yeah. Enjoy this first half of me doing some okay things on the BMX. Got the photos, then crashed, and the MVP had to sort of go B&M and be a nurse. Yeah, you're floating head. Yeah. Oh my god, that was terrible. I kind of landed like slightly on top of the actual hill. Whiplash. Oh my god, that was terrible. Whiplash. It's like you need to pull in rather than pull off. Like there's no flat top, so it's hard to know when to pull off. You know, I think I rode along, I was coming along slow, and I actually rid down the radius. I'd say you almost, yeah, you can see about yeah, like, wheel. Yeah. Then I, was, I thought I was going into there, I pulled off, I was like, oh shit. It's kind of hard, he's like, you come down the radius and you got to try and pull forward. My bike didn't come up. Oh man. Did you put out a tree there? Fucking hell. <laughs> so yeah, photos complete. Me and the MVP are now heading across the corn tox, across the drove, bags and miles on Strava, just for a lols, like, do you know what I mean? So yeah, the Enduro's currently got a crack in the rear end, and I'm not talking about Grace's crack. Hopefully it won't fall apart on the MVP, but if it does, I'll film it, that's for sure.
wondered what the X standed for in BMX. Cross country, innit? Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Right. <laughs> oh, my God. I'll say like Is all right. Nice bit of single track going uphill. Ugh. You not case. I'll call you off, Bob.
that's disgusting. I'm gonna need to pull that bit off. No, blue dye. Oh. Yeah. Uh. That's actually. That's not a slice. Oh my god, that's disgusting. Hello. No, Sam. Yeah, I've landed on a couple of stones. That needs stitches, doesn't it? I know, he's silly, isn't he? You smell TCP? Yeah, it's horrible. Oh yeah, she eats that. Uh, so yeah, we've got the knees sorted out. Just got to do the hands now. And look at my toes, oh my goodness. So yeah, that was my morning on Quantox. I got the photos. I dropped off that tree and bashed my shoulder into another tree. But uh, I'm glad I got that drop without any modifications. I was going to saw off that upright and make a landing, but natural, all good. And yeah, my hands and my knee, a little bit sore right now, but you just got to keep on going, do you know what I mean? We're on a mega trek that we've once done before on the bikes. Mine head to Bosserton. You fall down, you got to get back up and keep going. She's uh, my masseuse, she's uh, my nurse, she's uh, my one and only, do you know what I mean? Maid. Maid. Oh, that's not very nice. Personality is the best, exactly. It's not all about the ass and titties, do you know what I mean? Exactly. <laughs> Look at that for a bench spot. Oh my goodness. A few snacks, we're kind of halfway. If you want to follow this route, try it. Follow me on Strava. Just be ready for it, because it's next level. <laughs> I mean, we've done, what, 16,000 steps? 5.2 miles. We've got another sort of 5.2 miles back. Yeah, mine head, five miles, back up that way. Sammy, I've reached the top. And we made it back. Only ones in the bloody car park, look at us. I don't know why, because there's a nice little skinny here, look. Practice on, look. Get on the logs like that. Oh my God, on to the next one. Oh my goodness, look at that. Straight off the end. That's it. MVP, we did it. 9.45 miles. Yeah. 1,300 feet elevation. Yeah. We did it in three hours, two minutes. That was with a bit of stopping as well for chilling. So yeah, that is a minor to Bosseton walk. And uh, yeah, I woke up this morning, bits of my skin stuck to the quilts and stuff. I could have stayed at home feeling sorry for myself, but I'm such a hard bastard. I just got out there and did a nine mile trek. And now I've got to spend the rest of the week healing my wounds and then back on it next weekend, do you know what I mean? I think the worst out of it all was just my thumb. Years ago I punched a bouncer in the head and I had my thumb like that, so I went bang and it kind of like messed my thumb up. And I kind of did it again when I put my thumb on the floor. So uh, anytime you punch someone, just keep your thumb tucked in. Always remember that. That's a nice bit of advice. The other bit of advice, just wear pads. I wore pads in the morning during a photo shoot, then I took it all off and now I'm just like, that's what I'm saying, it's pads isn't it, same shit. Oh, is that the same, is it? Gloves and pads, yeah. Add it on in the morning, took it off, and yeah, what a dickhead. So, uh, 40 miles yesterday, 9 mile walk today, all good in the hood. Bye for now. Oh, you yeah. can't. Whoa. No, you can't. You put that some out in the wounds. 